Part of the format of the Canadian Music Cafe, of course, is the band performing in front of supervisors and other uh, members of the music industry. The supervisors can not only hear, but see how that music matches up on, uh, on film or television. So it's a really important component of what we do here. Playing to an intimate room full of attentive listeners was awesome. I think it's so important to have music and film folks all in the same room because music and film are so closely related. I think music just adds so much color to a film. It's been really interesting to see the bands play their songs to a scene. As a music supervisor, that's something we do every day and is one of the most fun parts of the job. So hopefully it's actually been an interesting thing for the bands to see. I was particularly impacted by the Rose Cousins song. I forget the film it was over, but it was a really emotional scene and I, I got like chills, which is usually my definition of a good song placement. I love the song scene uh, experiment. I think it was a successful experiment. Obviously seeing live music is amazing, but I feel like it's really married those worlds together. It's made it feel a lot more cinematic, obviously, and I think it's done a good job probably showing the artists how it works when we're kind of looking at songs and kind of giving them that perspective in terms of how sound and picture work together. Groundbreaking. I think the idea of providing an event like this is great because it's so specific and a lot of conference events can be a little more scattershot where it's just like invite a bunch of people into a room and see what happens but this is like super focused. Everybody's really clear about why they're here and what they're doing and you can count on shared goals. For musicians, it's a wonderful opportunity to have your song uh, featured on a movie or, or an ad or a short film or whatever. It's, I think it's two um, artistic scenes that go so well together. It's, there should be more events like this. It's, it's really cool to combine both. It's crazy how much sync can bring in a fan base that you never thought you would get or ways in which you know, they would never hear you play. They're all the way in Germany, you're in Montreal and somehow they hear about your music on this show and you have this opportunity to reach someone so far away and it's pretty great. Getting one song in a movie might end up seeing residuals from 25 to 30 countries. It could lead to touring, it could lead to uh, global opportunities for the music that they've recorded. The spirit of export can provide endless opportunities. The OMDC and the Canadian Music Fund are invaluable to us. We're really grateful to have them and it, it actually makes us the envy of other countries who, who don't have similar support. The investment um, yields amazing results. What we want to do, what part of our mandate is at the OMDC, uh, along with the Ontario government obviously, is to create jobs and opportunities um, and really kind of build capacity in Ontario companies. And some of the best stories that come out of the fund are from smaller companies, small and emerging companies, and our funding is able to take them to the next level and that's really what the mandate of the program uh, is around to do, creating revenues and jobs. It's a really cool vibe. It really is an amazing opportunity where we can just get together in a relaxed atmosphere and really enjoy the essence of the music and the artistry of the performers on the stage.